<sighs> Hell of a day. Man, we got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow, you can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Oh, she's committed. Okay, be back in two shakes. Uh, we sure went hard last night, huh? It was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I guess guess we should head to the warehouse. We gotta get to the bottom of this shady stuff quick. Can't handle much more of it. Gotta build those muscles, Nanba. Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see... One million yuan. Just a minute. No, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. What?这个当初讲好的不一样吧批发价会算你这么便宜就是因为说好当场复现的没钱的话东西我们可要收回去了知道了我去银行抽钱回来三十分钟后你们再过来这次可要准备好啊放心了相信我Wait right here. Yes, sir. What the? That wooden box. What the heck? This is just paper. Can they use now paper they're getting in that. Food? In the food? That'd be weird. What? Tian Chou Hall, man. Oh, um, it's not here yet. What? Counterfeit bills? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? 
There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from... somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait. Are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They've gotta. What, and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake-ass money? I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Well, maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. It's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What, you mean money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. Threaten is a bit We need soon. to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries, I'll go. Get some Ichiban. bonding time. You used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? Guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her, just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Raising some RPG flags here. I don't 
think there's anything to turn in. Oh, what are you? Uh, yeah, do we have anything? We do. Oh, the bugs. That's right. Cool. What is this? The manager at my last job was a real downer, and frankly, I couldn't take any more of his abuse. I'm over gloomy people. Sure, it'd be nice if a kind, encouraging manager picked me up. Oh, is this for the company? Sure, I can always lay. Ah, uh, hold on. All right. Oh, so they okay. So you can choose. Perfect. That's awesome. Um, nope. I have to relearn all these stinking buttons again. Is run. Oh, run is just this button. That's right. I forgot how to get into. Wait. Okay. I can access this through my phone. That's really cool. Aha! Okay, here we go. Guess I wasn't pressing hard enough. Okay, there's something going on there. So how do I manage... Oh, no. How do I manage my company? Management. Okay. Holy cow. Um... Ah. Yeah, I've got to start spending some money. Okay, we have that figured out. Let uh yeah, let's go figure out what this is. And a jump. Oh. Really do have to go around. That's the Kappa kid, right? Do you have any hints? I've heard. No hints. Okie dokie. Oh, we're 16. Yeah, this should be a quick one. They're doing stuff. Like I said before, this is my merchandise. None mm -hmm. of it's trash. But it's spilling out from your property. Surely you can't mean... Ah, oh, he's calling it a roadside business. Lots of places has, have flags and signs outside. You got a problem with those? Hmm? I just wish the people from the welfare office would treat me like they do everyone else. Oh. 
<laughs> hey, wait, we're still not done talking. All right, so we saw the pawn shop owner. This dude's worried about what he's gonna do next. Hey. So he owns that dump, huh? Oh yes, excuse me, but who are you? I'm Kasuga, and I'm kinda new in town. Sounds like the neighbors are pretty up in arms about this place. Kasuga. Ah, so you're Kasuga-san. You've heard of me? Hey. Indeed, I've heard rumors about you from many of the city's homeless. Talk of a huge new guy on the scene, named Kasuga with even bigger hair. I'm actually with Welfare Services, so I have a lot of connections with the homeless. <laughs> but wow, I never thought I'd get to meet you. <sighs> Guess I am making a name for myself here. Too bad it's for all the wrong reasons. I'm Kondo. I work for the Public Division of Welfare. Division of Welfare, huh? Sounds like you have a lot on your hands. Well, that's the na nature of the job. Still, this place has been a real thorn in my side. He's saying it's a pawn shop, right? Correct. The owner, Gomi-san, keeps saying the trash is all his merchandise, which, of course, prevents us from removing it. That said, it was indeed a pawn shop at one point. But after his wife passed away, he became somewhat of a recluse, and the shop turned into the trash heap you see today. Wow. I don't know if it's because I'm younger than him or what, but he refuses to listen to a word I say. Oh. So now I'm caught between an angry hoarder and an angrier neighborhood. Man, even I'm starting to feel bad. Tunnel? Say, maybe you could try reaching out to him, Kasuga-san. Hmm? Me? Yep. I'm sure by now, Gomi-san's had enough of me or the neighborhood folks pestering him. I'm thinking maybe if a new, more intimidating face gives it to him straight, he might finally get the picture. You sure about that? At this point, I think throwing him a curveball is my best bet. Ooh, I'll even reward you for it, so could you please help? For the sake of the city? Sure. Okay. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I never would have guessed the doorbell would be there either. What is it now? Huh? Who are you? You look like a Yakuza. <laughs> Oh, I see. So even the welfare office is in their pocket, is that it? Uh, I'm not sure what you're getting at. This is Kasuga-san. He just recently moved in. He wanted to express his feelings about the state of your shop. Hmm, I'll bet. Come on, that guy's a Yakuza through and through. I'm no Yakuza, I'm just another citizen like you. So, tell me, you ever think about cleaning all this crap up? It's not crap. This is a pawn shop. And this is all respectable merchandise. I'm not getting rid of it. Yo, doesn't look like he's too big on changing his tune. Mm. He sure is stubborn. There's gotta be something that'll win this guy over. Oh. I don't think the cleaning is it. Hey, hello. Ariana here. How's it going? Thank you for the follow. Let's see if we can buy this dude's stuff. Stop. Hey, everything here is for sale, right? That's right. Quality mer merchandise. It's not trash, and there's no need to throw it away. <laughs> How much do you want for it? Uh -huh. If I buy it, it's all mine. I can do whatever I want with it. So how much do you want? Uh, ten million. Oh my gosh. Not a yen less. Uh -huh. 
How do you figure all this trash is worth 10 mil? What are you gonna do? You really gonna buy it, Kasuga-san? Sure. Deal. I don't have that kind of money. You really had me going there for a second. Yeah, we tried. Can't say I didn't see this coming. This is usually the part where I get chased no. off. No, I don't think he's looking to chase mm -hmm. us. You just couldn't leave me alone no matter how much I asked. You pushed me to the edge. I'm gonna protect this shop. It's mine, and you can't take it away from me. I'll make sure you never bother me again. Yikes, this is definitely a first. Well, oh, no way out of this one. Die! Okay. Right. Uh, level 9. I think we're good. Just to auto-attack through this one. thought about getting rid of all this trash? Yeah, but it's not just trash. It's memories of my wife. Memories? Uh, I used to run this place with my wife. We didn't make much, but life was good. Right. I heard this place used to be legit. Then one day, my wife collapsed while tending the store. By the time they found her, it was too late. And she passed on. Uh, despite her health, she worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. To think I wasn't there for her. Gomi-san, I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How might she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place, like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. <sighs> I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... <sighs> I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her! <laughs> yeah, I get how you feel. And I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? <gasps> I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two worked so hard to protect is so covered up, Nobody even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Oh! Gomi-san, I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. You might want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you gonna do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. Good for you, man. It's a hard place My to come back from. For this place. If she's still watching over me, 
I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Ooh, items. Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm going to take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. Should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. You can sell everything except for valuables at pawn shops. If you need immediate funds, selling off items you don't need there would be the quickest way. As the saying goes, when somebody says it's not about the money, it's about the money. Ooh, and it's gone. That was fast. Wrong buttons. A briefcase. Nice. Another book. Is there anything else interesting down here? Nope. Let's head back to that pawn shop. I wonder if you can buy anything from him. There he is. Looks like there's stuff for sale. Let's see what he says. Cool. What do we have? Ah! Little one-use items and... Some music. Cool. All right, and there was another conversation here that I'm going to go check out. You gonna make it around the corner? We did. All right. Oh, it's another part-time hero gig. What are you doing? What do you want from me? Come on, man. We just need a teeny tiny bit of money for our allowance. Jinai -san, san asked me to get some nails. Those will work. Ah, it's not a part-time hero job. What are you looking at, old man? You got something to say? No. Nah, I got nothing. Just thought I'd see if I could take some of those nails off your hands. Huh? Eh, what are you talking about? Come on, guys. Let's kill this clown. You're going down. Yeah. Let's Level 12, still a little low. They're tough, though. Is it just that guy with the bat? It's just that guy with the bat. Alright. Oop. Ground attack from Namba is pretty cool. The guitar slide. Let's go. Get serious. Bond plus five. Hey. I don't want to try that again. No thanks, we've had enough. We're sorry. Thank you so much for saving me like that. How can I ever repay you? Don't worry about it. This is all I need. So we have the boards and the nails.
I don't remember what else. Is that all he needs? Alright. Right there. Is there anything we can do? There's this conversation here. And then we can head back. 